Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed life, day, night, morning, wherever you are in the whole wide world. Praise God, praise God. It's been a minute. Um, my God, I am excited um, what God is doing in our lives, in your life. And um, But I have a very serious message. Um, go ahead, press play, share. Tag. I didn't forget everything. Look at her. Oh, I haven't been on here so long, but God has been doing a new thing. I guess you all know in my life and, and hold on. It's not just in my life and everybody's. I'm telling you, God is doing something in this hour and I pray that you don't miss it. So here's what God told me to actually talk about today. Um, actually, God has been in my ear since I was the night before last. It was all night long. And today he has been in my spirit. And he said, Deanna, he said, you have to endure. Now in Timothy, it says endure hardness as a good soldier. But he says, hold on. It has to be a spirit of endurance. And I said, okay, God, what are you saying? He said, the enemy is after your anointing. He desired to render you powerless, say the Lord. Now hold on. He'll use people. He'll use things. He'll use jobs. He'll use whatever the case may be. I pray that you understand because I don't just get up on here to get up on here. Praise God. So what God was telling me is that you have to make sure that you are all Always feeding on the word of God, um, listening to the word of God, speaking the word of God, reading the word of God. Come on, somebody, whoever and whatever you spend with the most, that is your God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And so God was telling me, he said, my people don't understand what true blessings are. So many people are running after things. Come on, somebody. And we could all get sidetracked. Don't I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. Don't get it twisted because we run after success. But I'm going to tell you right now, God said run after him because most of you running after success, but you don't have no spirit to where you can pray something in a way. You, you're not powerfully anointed the way you used to be because of what you're doing now, God said. You didn't hear what I'm saying. Oh, come on, somebody. Because one thing about God, he lets me walk out things before I preach about him. Y'all don't hear what I'm just saying. The reason why I haven't been on here, I couldn't get on here. I was so tired from working. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I had to start thinking. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, devil. What you trying to do to me? Because I don't ever want to get sidetracked. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Because people will get you sidetracked. Money will get you sidetracked. Things will get you sidetracked. Success will get you sidetracked. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. But one thing about the spirit of God, the fire of God, the power of God, it'll pull you back in. Hold and say, hold on. Examine thyself. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up on here tonight. Because I'm not the only one. Oh, let's get come on. The church have taught people that to run after blessings. Oh, come on, somebody. And, and it could be so subtle that you don't even know that you're doing it. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And, and, and getting others to do it too. You, and, and then, guess what? Still in the hole. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Still fighting bills. Still doing this until God made me realize. He said, Deanna, how did you do it before? Supernaturally. I had to go back when I was in Sacramento, when I first believed, when I first started, when I first loved God. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I said, I remember you did it with nothing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. I have to slow it down because I want you to really get this. I remember I didn't have anything. And they were laughing. Just, just the way that you know how people laugh when you don't have nothing. Don't I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. And I remember God say, he don't want you to go to a hotel. I want you to be by yourself because I was in a transition home for, with the church sisters. And I remember I went to the hotel and I got on a, in the middle of that hotel floor. And I'll never forget what I said. I promise you, I know only three keychains. And I said, God, they laugh. And I said, but it ain't about them laughing. I said, I need some things. I promise you, in three days, all three of them keychains with no money. One was a Mercedes, one was a condo, one was a job. Hold on, I had asked for that job. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Because it's permissive will. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And people were asking me, how did it, how did you do it? I just summoned my Lord. I summoned God and I believed. And let me tell you what I did that night. That night when I went, I left, no, that morning when I left the hotel, I went and started packing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I went and started packing. And I remember them. I heard them talking. Well, what's she doing? She ain't got none. And I didn't have none. I had none in the bank and I ain't had none in my pocket. Hallelujah. But I believed God. Hallelujah. And I'm here to tell you tonight, we're doing it wrong. I put myself in there. We're doing it wrong. We're trying to do it. Ah, uh, oh, I got to let me slow down, God, because I want to do this thing where you told me to. The other day, God had me talking in the class and he said, systems, systems, systems. And I said, God, what are you saying? He said, my people are not supposed to be under systems, but they're in systems, under systems and over systems. And he says, I'm not a God of system. Y'all don't hear what I just said. I just preached right then and there. And some of you caught it and some of you will not catch it. And I know what you're saying, but, but we need to live. I used to teach this. He even brought me back to the blessings of Abraham. How did God take care of his people in the first testament, in the old testament, like y'all like to say? 
supernaturally. This is the same way God is getting ready to actually bless his people in these last days. But we're so part of this systematic rule. Oh, come on, somebody. People have you feeling bad if you don't have a job. People have you feeling bad if you don't have this. People are trying to say that you're not this. People are trying to say that you're not blessed. Don't play with me. Y'all know what I'm saying. It's true. So that's the first thing to get deliverance from people. And then sometimes I own what God says. So you tell me to do this, then I got to do it this way. Not understanding that if God called you to it, then he'll see you through it. And that's anything, personally, financially, um, on the job, off the job, whatever the case may be. Whatever he calls you to, I promise you, he will see you through it. When did we stop believing, church? Oh, come on, somebody, don't play with me. I'm on one today. When did we stop believing? Who, who beguiled you? What beguiled you that made you start doing it your way? And you'll get other people to do that same thing. Inadvertently, not even knowing it. And all the while, losing your anointing, losing your direction, getting distracted because that's what the enemy do. He's a master of distraction. If I could distract them, then they cannot be attracted to the anointing and then the anointing gets lesser. Oh, but he had the right one. I'm testifying today. I'm testifying today. I'm testifying today. See, I'm like them old people back in the old day. I like God to pull my coattail. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm trying to pull some of yours. You got to do it God's way, people. I promise you. I know it'll look good. I know it'll feel good. And people will be like, oh, congratulations. Y'all know what I'm saying. And all the while behind your mind, I pray that this is God. I pray that this is God. If it ain't God, <laughs> I'm in trouble. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying up in here tonight. So I pray in the name of Jesus because I couldn't even get on here. I mean, and it wasn't just a job, other things. Oh, I'm about to say some things on here. You got to really love God and you got to really walk with God for real. This can't be no fake. You can't be with God one minute and in your flesh the next minute. That's not of God. You are a liar before God. Either he real or he ain't. Either he working in your life or he ain't. Either he hate or your life and he ain't. Don't play with me. Stop playing. Either you're going to be the church or you're not the church. But we, there's too much intertwining. It's too much intertwining. And I call myself on that too. Uh, trust me. The same message I, that God tells me to tell you, it is for me as well. Hallelujah. And sometimes we can get we can get sidetracked. I said we can get sidetracked. I wrote some things down. God says that He's still going to bless you. It's just that the timing was off. You know how you do did that thing two years ago, one year ago, last year, uh, two months ago, and it didn't work. He said it wasn't that He didn't call you to it. The timing was off. He said, but those things that the Lord should He said, and then those that laugh at you should should be made ashamed because resurrection is coming. I'm telling you, this is what does said the Lord. He said, resurrection is coming. He said, the timing was off. You tried to do those things out of the timing of God. It's not that it wasn't of God. It was it was the timing off. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Because a lot of you, you'll think that it wasn't God just because it didn't happen. He said, but what I have called you to do, it has to be with my timing and it has to be with alignment. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm saying something here. Yeah? He said, resurrection is coming. He said, courage is resistance to fear, and courage is the mastery of fear when you are afraid. Some of you are afraid to step out. Some of you are afraid to do what God has called you to do because guess what? You can get you, you in that system. Oh, I'm talking to the ones that have a job. I couldn't understand something. God always do something when I'm called to something. I couldn't understand, truth be told, what was going on here. All right? I couldn't understand. I couldn't understand. But I'm going to tell you all something. God is a good God. And he'll never leave or forsake you. He'll put that thing back in order. He'll put you back in order. There's some of you out of order. You've been out of order for a long time. Trying to do it your way. But I decree and declare, I can't do it. I cannot, I cannot live like that. I will not live like that. Honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I won't even be around people that live like that. I, I'm just being real with you. Either we do it God's way or I can't be down with you. Either we do it God's way, I got to get from around you. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all should have the same thought life. I'm not saying throw people away. I'm not saying don't love people. But I'm just saying if we're going to do this thing God's way, because that's what's wrong with the church. That's why the church ain't got no power. Y'all want to be blessed. 
and not anointed. Y'all want to be prosperous, but not have the spirit of healing and deliverance and laying hands. To me, it don't make no sense. Why you want to be so blessed? And don't play with me because most major mega people are blessed. How many people can they really heal? I ain't hating. I'm just being real. I'd rather have the healing of God, the anointing of God, the fire of God. For my sisters and brothers, it is not about me. It is not about us. Although we think it is. So I got to go teach this class. But I've said what God said. And hold on, there was another message. He said, God says, don't give up. Fight the good fight of faith. The devil wants you to stop believing. Because once you stop believing, the devil has won. Some of you have stopped believing. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it feels like. I don't care what people say. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think. You must see what God sees. You must see what God sees. You must know what God knows. Stop giving up. One minute you with God, the next minute you're not. One minute you love God, the next minute you're tripping. Either you're going to love God and trust God or you not. Hallelujah. All right, I got to go. But I love y'all and I'm back. Or oh, the devil thought. He thought and he tried. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That fool crazy. God will win every time. God will win every time. I'll turn my back on anybody, anything, anything, any time, any day, any hour for God. Don't believe me? Try me. All right, God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Real life soldiers for that is who we are.